Good morning, this is Kelo Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. One man is dead after a motorcycle crash in Lawrence County. According to the South Dakota Highway Patrol, a 68-year-old man was driving a motorcycle two miles south of Deadwood around noon Sunday when he left the road and was thrown from his bike. Officials say he was not wearing a helmet. No one else was involved. The latest rally tally from Sturgis shows DUI arrests are tracking ahead of last year with 155 arrests as of this morning compared with 120 at the same time last year. Felony drug arrests are also trending slightly higher and officials have issued over 1,400 citations, which is a little lower than the same time last year. Wyatt Dennis has been working for more than 10 days at his free lemonade stand just outside of Sturgis during this year's motorcycle rally. This fundraiser helps Wyatt learn how to spend and save money, but it also goes towards a good cause. Since 2020, Wyatt's Lemonade has donated over $75,000 to St. Jude Children's Hospital. So we like to change it up. This year's goal is going to be $25,000 because in the past four years, I've donated 70, over 75000 so we're trying to reach the six-digit mark. Yesterday was the last day for free lemonade at Wyatt's stand. Now let's check in with meteorologist Scott Munn. Started the day with a few showers. Any more on the way this week, Scott? Well, we are watching uh, Wednesday, probably looking like the best chance for more widespread rain to cover central, eastern South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. Before then, these isolated showers will continue to move to the east and we'll watch a decrease in cloud cover in southeastern South Dakota, Iowa, and Minnesota for the later part of this morning. Temperatures today will reach the 70s and 80s. Brian will have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken and Police Chief John Toom have recently expressed their worries about the homeless population in Sioux Falls. The city has taken away benches in downtown Sioux Falls to curb the issue, and the owner of Child's Play Toys, Nancy Savage, says she'd like to see a decrease in alcohol sales downtown. As the mayor said, it's a few bad actors. It's a few bad, you know, people that are with alcohol and I mean what I would like to see personally is um, and I, I wouldn't want anyone to tell me how to run my business I just wish that alcohol sales um, would stop downtown. Savage says she has noticed a decrease in the homeless population in downtown Sioux Falls over the last week. Fall is just around the corner and swimmers will soon be headed back indoors. The city of Sioux Falls is currently renovating and expanding the locker rooms at Midco Aquatic Center. Construction started in early July on the $1.8 million project and the city's park development specialist hopes to wrap things up by the end of the year. Really tight construction frame. Uh, we do have uh, some supply issues that we're working through right now. Uh, best case scenario is the end of December, but we might uh, push into January. The project was made possible in part by a $500,000 donation by Sioux Falls residents Joe and Jenny Kirby. A 98-year-old U.S. Navy veteran was among those attending Saturday's USS South Dakota Day of Honor in Sioux Falls. Leon Guy is believed to be the last surviving crew member of the World War II battleship. He was a radar operator stationed in the ship's combat information center. We could hear the aircraft carriers launching aircraft to intercept the Japanese planes. And you could hear all that in CIC. Guy lives in California. He's been attending these Sioux Falls ceremonies since 1990. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, our weather update today. Looking at clouds uh, lingering this morning, Sioux Falls area. It looks like that rain chance will stay about 20% this afternoon. If we do flare something up, it looks to be pretty isolated. And uh, we end up here in the low to mid-70s, uh, cresting there through the late afternoon. Future cast update today, for the most part here, 70s will be pretty common. Might see a couple of 80s around Phillip and you'll notice our clouds still kind of hanging around a little bit thicker through midday into northwest Iowa, southwest Minnesota especially. And then in western Kettleland, we could even bring back a couple of rain chances 
to wrap up the late afternoon there from hot springs to spearfish. Even uh, overnight tonight, there's a chance of a couple more of those drifting in across northern Nebraska. We'll see if that uh, decides to wander east a little bit here tomorrow morning. I do expect an increase in the wind tomorrow out of the south, southeast. If you're in the western two-thirds of Kettle Land, you'll really notice that. Temperature in Rapid City will go up. We could be at least 86, possibly 88. And then uh, whether or not we need to add in any isolated rain in the afternoon across the south central or the southeast, we'll continue to look at that. It looks like it's pretty loosely organized. I'm more inclined to say let's wait until Tuesday night. West River, there are some thunderstorms out here toward Phillip and Wall and Rapid City. And then by Wednesday morning, those pockets of rain should move east. How much rain do we get? Well, that's a good question. And right now, it looks like we'll get some at least scattered thunderstorms out of this pattern. There's a decent amount of water stacked in the atmosphere, so it should lend itself to at least supporting some more rain, and thus we've increased our probabilities during that point. 70s today, 75 Mitchell, 77 degrees in winter. Your seven-day forecast will bring in that 50% chance of rain in Sioux Falls on Wednesday, 40% into the first part of Thursday, and then low to mid-80s there as we wrap up the week. The numbers for Aberdeen look Looking at low 80s, pretty likely. Uh, chance of rain is probably best on Wednesday into Wednesday evening. And then we do expect Pier also picking up a pretty good chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms right there through the middle part of the week. 80s look to be pretty consistent. And Pier in central South Dakota looking at middle 80s here as we go into the forecast. And chances of rain right now look to be in that 30% range through Wednesday and Thursday. Check out more details online at kettleland.com.